So if you found this video, it's because you've tried calorie counting and you're just not losing the weight. So I'm gonna give you some answers as to why that may be. Now, if you're new here, my name is Shannon from Shannon Billows Fitness, and I'm here to make weight loss and training as easy and simple as possible. So if you find this video helpful, please make sure you give this video a like and a subscribe because I'll be doing these videos every single week. Now, this, believe it or not, is a question that I get quite a lot. So I have people who message me on my Instagram, um, they come through on my Facebook, and they say that they've been trying to calorie count, they've been entering all their information and they swear black and blue that they're following everything to a T and they're just not getting the results that they should be. So let's look at some of the common reasons why if you're calorie counting or you're at least tracking your food or macros, why you may not be getting the expected fat loss results. So number one, you could just be relying on the scale weight alone and not taking your weekly waist measurements. Now there have been times and I still have clients who may not lose scale weight as fast as they do waist measurement drops. If you're solely only relying on the scale weight alone, you're missing a huge piece of the puzzle because physically all we're trying to do is become a smaller person and that doesn't always reflect on the scale. You could be gaining muscle and losing fat at the same time. You could be slightly more bloated. You may have your period. You may need to go to the toilet and all of that is going to reflect on the scale. Now, the number one way to know if we're physically becoming a smaller, leaner person is if our waist measurements are going down. Now, the reason behind this is if the tape measure closes around you just a little bit more, even one to two centimeters, physically, you are now a smaller person, which means you have lost body fat. Now, I'm going to leave a link to a video which I've done above, which talks about your optimal waist range. I highly recommend that you go and watch this video, and it talks about your healthy waist range, the lower limits to your healthy waist range, and how to track it accurately. The way I do it with my clients is I highly suggest that you take your waist measurements every single week, preferably at the same day, same time each week. And if you are going to use the scale, make sure you weigh yourself every single day, take the average, and then only compare your averages from week to week. The one thing that you're mostly looking for is either A, for your weight to go down, B, your waist measurements to go down, or C, both to go down. As long as either or are trending in the right direction, then you are still losing body fat. Now, reason number two, let's say you're actually in a plateau or what people like to call a quote unquote plateau. So you haven't made any weight loss progress on your scale or your waist measurements for at least two to maybe three weeks, then we really need to go back and look at your calories and see exactly what you're eating and how you are tracking it. So when you're calorie counting, you wanna make sure that everything is being tracked accurately. Now, if the kids have leftovers from dinner, you wanna make sure that if you eat that, you still track it. Any sugar that goes into your coffee, any condiments that you put onto your food, any dressings, licks, bites, tastes, they all add up and they can add up very, very fast. And it's not unheard of from adding all these little tiny treats and nibbles and bites here and there can sometimes exceed anywhere from another three to 500 calories per day. Now tip number three is you wanna make sure that you're tracking everything accurately. So anything that you do eat must be weighed on a scale. So this means you should try and avoid going out and eating at things like cafes and restaurants at least for a couple of weeks to months and make sure you make everything at home, make it yourself weigh track everything on the scale, make sure that you're using grams compared to pounds or ounces because it's a much more accurate way of measuring your food. And then make sure you're using the barcode scanner that comes along with the MyFitnessPal app to track your calories accurately. So sometimes if you just put in a generic search term for medium coffee or large apple, the calories are going to be slightly incorrect compared to what you're actually eating. So if you have a packaged food, scan it with a barcode, you can guarantee that it's going to be as close as possible to the actual calories that are in the serving size, and you're not going to be using somebody else's data that they've entered that could be incorrect. Now reason number four, you may have set your calories up incorrectly to start with. So calorie calculators, are a best guess estimation. Now, if you want, I'm going to leave the link below for my calorie calculator. This is the one that I use for myself. I use it for all my high-end paying clients and I use it for all my Lean In Six guys, which I run my six-week program every six weeks. The exact same calculator that we use, I'm going to give it to you for free in the link below. You can download that. Now, sometimes when you use a calorie calculator, the information that you put in may be slightly incorrect. So if your activity level is slightly off or you just put an incorrect height number, it can give you a massive decrease or increase in your calories. So the best thing to do is when you actually set up your diet and you have your starting calories, 
So the best thing to do is when you enter all your information into a calorie calculator, even my one, I want you to use this as a starting point. And then if you're not getting the results that you should be come the next two to three to four weeks, then your calories do need to decrease. And it really doesn't matter what the calculator says, that's just giving you the idea to where you should be starting from. And then from there, we adjust your calories depending on your results. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, please make sure you give this video a like, subscribe for future videos just like this. We're going to be putting out two videos every single week. And if you have a question, send it through to my Instagram at Shannon Billows Fitness. And if it's good, I'll possibly try and look at doing a video for you on my YouTube channel. If you have any questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.